Welcome back and first week is done. Mm, has been quite good. Um, I have been eating loads of greens, loads of fruits, drinking so much water. Um, and yeah, so let's see how the week has been. much salad doesn't fit into the plate um, tofu sea seeds salad tomato cucumber paprika looks yummy second morning cream smoothie let's see getting better. Dr. Brooke Goldner's protocol has six steps and the first three ones are um, the things that you shouldn't be eating and the next three ones are the things that you should be eating. And the first three that you should avoid are all the animal products, um, processed foods and then oils. And the next um, three ones that you should be eating are um, unlimited um, fruits and vegetables, especially greens. Um, then good omega-3s, which you would get, for example, from flax seeds or chia seeds. And then um, loads of water. The vegetables should be eaten mainly raw, because then they have more minerals and vitamins left. So the cooking won't kill all the good stuff. Um, you could eat um, like some cooked vegetables if you feel like, but um, the more raw, the better. So at the moment I'm just trying to eat raw things. I have to clarify for you. Um, when I got sick and I got all the medicines, already in January I started to change my diet to find out if that could help me. And at that time I found that gluten was the worst for me um, and also dairy. So that would make my joint pain worse. Um, and then I found Dr. Brooke Goldner um, and I started to follow her diet. Um, but I would do it like two weeks and then somebody came to visit me and I had some nice meals. Then I would go back to it for the next two or three weeks um, and then there was a birthday or whatever, had some wine and nice meals. So it's not completely new for me, but I just haven't done it six weeks in a row. It's so hot in Germany, like so humid. I'm sweating. I'm happy you're not seeing that because I'm like soaking wet. Now I will take you to bath where I have been taking my blood test every two months and in the end of May I had an appointment with the rheumatologist who told me then the results of the latest blood tests so you will find that out and I will also show you around Bath because it's so beautiful you have to see it. Not 
from the doctor, um, antibodies are positive, then this lupus thing, I don't know how it's called in English, is positive as well, so everything as expected. Um, I said I haven't eaten painkillers since January and the doctor said that it's because of the oxychlorine I'm eating, but I tried to tell him that since I changed my diet, I didn't have any pain, so I think the diet has a big role in this, but he didn't take me seriously. He was just like, okay, if you say so, whatever, um, but it's okay, that's a typical doctor. Um, I'm gonna prove them wrong. I want to remind you that I am not expert in this field. I am not a doctor. So I'm only doing these things based on what I have read from the book uh, of Dr. Brooke Goldner, what I have heard from her webinars, um, everything I have read from the interviews. So everything I do in these videos, everything I say is just based on that knowledge I have gained from those. I suggest, in case you would want to start to do something similar, buy the book of Dr. Brooke Goldner. Um, I know that there is a free webinar coming in July, end of July. You can register for free. Um, I can put the link below this video. Um, watch them, learn more, um, because I am not an expert. Um, I might forget to say some things, I am not making clear all the things. Um, I might say something wrong, which I'm really trying not to give you wrong information, but um, please follow the expert and then do as she tells you to do. Thank you for watching my second video. This week has been really good and let's see how it's going to be next week because I'm not going to be home all the time, so maybe that creates some challenges. We will see. Um, see you next week! Nothing, nothing, I'm just here